Hi there guys, welcome back to HFV. I'm delighted to tell you that today I'll be back at the Swedish team which is the closest to my heart. The only Swedish team which has European title, the blue and white team of Gothenburg, the beloved EF Göteborg. The 18 times Swedish champions are also known as Englarna, the Angels, Blåvit, blue and white, and Kamraterna, the comrades. I visited this club three times already. If you're interested in those vlogs, you can find a separate Blåvit playlist on the channel for those vlogs. And after a second time, they invited me to this season's first home match. I was there in April against EFK Varnamo and I could film from the media section. This team recognized me officially as the only one and it just feels so well. So undoubtedly they have a really special place in my heart. I actually have the, the ticket of that match to the media section here on my wall. So <laughs> I'm really proud of that. It's, it's one of like, uh, it just shows what one can achieve with uh, doing an activity like this. So I'm really proud of being part of this community. They're facing Degefors EF today in the round 12 of Alsvenskan, the Swedish first division. After 11 matches each, EFK are on the eighth position on the table with 17 points and Degefors are on the 14th position with seven points. Honestly, I can't wait to be back at Gamle Levy. As you see in the background, I have an EFK scarf as well, which was actually gifted to me. I got so much recognition there. Even there were fans in the supporters march who were greeting me in the first match, the first round of Alsvenskan. So, it just feels excellent. In fact, this match is going to be part of a larger Swedish trip for me. So by the time you see this, you can already watch my Oiko Mjelbu and Jurgård Gordon Hammarby vlogs. They are both in the description for you. But by the time I'm filming this, I'm still at home and there's still another three days to go until the match. But in the next cut, we're going to be in Gothenburg already. So let's go. Okay, the rain has eased a bit, luckily. Look where I am. It's back home, guys. Kamla Ulevi. I've been here for EFK three times already and I'm really glad to be back. So I introduced the fan shop the first time I was here, but now I'm going to do that again. So let's get inside. Guys, the beautiful Blowage Open here, I just introduced it to you the second time after the Eurogoda match back in October and now I went in for buying a t-shirt actually, but I, I got a present once more. Last time I was presented with a scarf, which I'm gonna wear today in the media section as well, but now I have a, a proper training shirt. It's so cool, I'm so thankful to EF Call because uh, I was ready to spend money here basically, but they're so nice and I will be granted media access today as well, I didn't tell you before, but it's it's amazing, so running, street running, it's so great so yeah and this is the shirt what I got from the Ultra uh, at the Varnamo match back in April so I got so many presents here this is how it, how it feels amazing to be appreciated so uh, just looking forward so much for today for the game against the Gefosh and well hey I blow it come on EFK that's like I said the match will start in four hours the stretch of Gunnar Gren here he played actually for every three big teams of uh, Gothenburg guys Uis, and of course EFK match talk there we can see that means match day obviously Hela start and slag that's what they say about EFK here that's the team of the whole city and there because still all three big Gothenburg or let's say historical Gothenburg teams play here because they have another team a first division team Bieko Hecken who are as you saw in the intro leading the table as well so these are the three teams here who play obviously EFK is the is the most famous and now Guys are struggling in the third division and Uis are last in the second division. So it's basically only EFK fans who can fill this arena. 
Where we are now is Cafe Olivedal, where EFCO was founded in 1904 and I'm here with an EFCO supporter. Can you introduce this place to us, please? Hello, this is uh, Cafe or Old Cafe Olivedal, where our club, EFCO Göteborg, was founded in 1904. And this plaque here was put up by the uh, fans for the 100 years uh, anniversary in 2004. This is Kamrad Gordon, the training centrum of Pier Pretty Boys. And it appears that we are here at the right time because the players bus just arrived to pick up the players. So we have a bit more than two hours still to go until the game. Yeah, once more Hela Sarenslag team of the whole city. And there we have the Ivko logo also on this nice wooden side building. We couldn't catch the players bus leaving unfortunately but now 50 minutes ago until kickoff and here we are back at Gamla Ulevi. What do you guys think about EFK season so far? How is it going? I think uh, the season is kind of bad uh, up to this point but I think we'll uh, we'll get better this is this uh, half season. Uh, yeah it uh, definitely could be better but uh, it's still uh, okay in my opinion. It could be worse you know. Yeah. And uh, I think we're, we're gonna win this one and it's gonna turn and we're gonna win everything. That, that's what I was about to ask. That you're the, the better team on paper today, so what do you think what the score is going to be? 3 uh, 0 Gothenburg. Uh, the same as him. All the pre match activity here for children, of course. EFCO is really good in building community, as I introduced them before in some of my previous EFCO vlogs. And now the time has come. We'll enter the stadium 40 minutes before kickoff, and we'll be in the media section again, just like against Varnamo in early April, because the club was very nice and they provided me with media access once more. So thanks a lot. Let's go inside. It's pretty convenient to be in the media section because I don't have to stand the queues at all. Here are both teams' buses, as you see. All the fans entering there and the media entrance will be here. Thanks, Mika. So that's it, I like it so much. Best view, even at the lineup. Perfect, EF Coast car, obligatory part of course. First time I visit here in Sweden, so obviously, as I told you before, special place there. Poseidon begins with all those cars. Best side, really. I was looking forward so much to this. Love it. Yeah. Okay. 
gets underway by Blobit kicking off. Oh, oh. Really big chance in the first minute. Amazing work defensively by Yalo. Rightfully applauded. Simon Tan. That's a really great low pass on the other side. Jakob deflected out for a corner. Baraf says goal kick. Degafors <laughs> corner, end of the 17th minute. And EFK got it out. Bayashi in a counter. Mullin. <laughs> Keeper's goal in the end wasn't the best of shots. Left side attack now by Digger Fosch. This one was uncomfortably close. This was poor defending by a four. Bent takes the free kick, 29th minute. Not too precise, but now ball with Ayesh. He manages to get the cross in. Marcus Bad shoots. Now, 31st minute just started. With a bit of a pressure from Digger Force, but now EFK got out of their own half and they started attacking perhaps something now after this one. They're a bit more motivated now. Really great defensive work by Svensson. And back to Han. He can kick it upfield. That's what he does. Ball it off to Nurlin who gets it out to Barry. And great pass now inside the box. Oh yes. Really great to Yalo. Yalo's cross. After a defensive mistake from Dega Fosch and a clinical shot. <laughs> of course, Marcus Bell.
and Marcus Berge. 41st minute, 2-0, EFK, Woo! come on! No additional time at the end of the first half. We got two quick goals in the end, 2-0 for Blowit against Stegerfors. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. I really adore this place with all the video section. You can grab like coffee, food, so it's really the, the perfect place to, to vlog a match, obviously, because that's part of media as well. So what we saw in the first half, the last 10 minutes, there were two goals for uh, Blowit. Defensive mistakes from uh, Degge Force. Before that, they were uh, rather dominating Degge Force. So, and in the, in the first part, perhaps the first 50 minutes, it was a bit, a bit more Blowit. And now they're coming out for the second half as well. So after like 35 minutes, about an even play, but they get for rather pressing. But this is how defensive mistakes uh, give away actually uh, the final score of the match, or at least at halftime. I mean, two 0 is, is a decent lead. So uh, I don't think Yevko will uh, blow this away. But I'll well, never know. It's football, obviously, but it's a decent lead, and, and they'll now. Uh, I hope they, they'll defend well, but they weren't punished yet. So we'll see about the second half. They get for can be really dangerous on the counters, but. In the end of the day, Blovit have the, the quality players out of these two teams. So let's see about the second half. Ayes. Oh, Tunulin, really big chance. Great save by the keeper. Passing there by Nurlin. That's it, we need players like him. Big Dege Force chance, but it's a goal kick in the end. They could have got one back in the 57th minute. They failed to do it. Such a loud heat chant because this is about hating their rivals here in Gothenburg. The green and black guys. They are pushing the corner in the 65th minute. Punched away well by the keeper. What a great ball. with the corner. Crowd 
are chanting for Sebastian Eriksson. Fans favorite who just entered the pitch. Great ball handling. Why do you turn back, Amir? Come on. Amazing, Alexander. Come on, what a show, this guy has just put on, oh, but that's a bad pass. Han kicks it upfield. Marcus Barry for a both goals, EFO legend, coming off the pitch. Ninety minutes over, three minutes added. This could be one last attack for the F4 and a hundred percent chance. Oh, wow, for a corner. That's it guys, 2-0, 4 out of 4, every time I visit the F4 they win, that's it. We had a decent celebration after the win yesterday and I met some fans, member of uh, Supras, which was group, and they gifted me these stickers. Thank you very much guys if you see this video. The match itself, quick fire football at the end of the first half by EFK. Two goals in three minutes by Marcus Barry. 
former Swedish international, the 35-year-old striker who used to play for PSV Eindhoven and HSV as well. He actually scored in every single EFCO game I visited so far against Jürgen Gordon, against Östersund last season, this season against Varamo as well. And remarkable as well that both goals were assisted by Gustav Norlin. So the link up between the two was excellent in this match and it was enough to decide the match. Degefosch on the 15th position, the second last with this defeat and Jevko on the seventh place but only five points behind league leaders Hecken. So it's definitely a great weekend for Jevko. A great round this round 12 of Allsvenskan because Malmö lost, Aiko lost as well. So they could start now climbing up the table a bit. I was HFV and thank you very much for watching this video and thank you so much Jevko. It really I can't wish for more uh, appreciation from a club towards a vlogger. It's excellent. You, so I think I explained everything before the video. I hope I can be back here soon. See you next time, guys. Once more, I was HFV. Follow us here. YouTube, we have Instagram as well and Twitter. So join us.